Good morning. <laughs> hey guys. Hope everybody is well. And um, so I decided to come on this morning just to do um, a very simple makeup look. Um, getting ready for church this morning. So I thought I'd come on, say hey, see how everybody's doing. Yeah, and try out a couple products that I just got from Issa. I mean, I was really excited. I was checking the mail all the time because, yeah, I was pretty excited. So there they are. So I'll open these up for you. But this is the Artistry Palette um, by Isam. This is their contour palette. Now I will say that for me, um, I felt this palette was a little too red. Okay guys, I know this palette seems rather light, but you have to consider that I am in a very bright light facing me. So it is, um, when you see it in person, it is a little darker. But yes, um, I do feel like the color was a little bit too red, but I think it's something that you definitely could use in the summer as more of a bronzing, um, like sun-kissed type of um, powder that you could use to um, add to your makeup look. I think it gives off a really nice um, like summer bronzing look um, but I could always put it in the crease of my eye and um, but these colors here these are nice especially for under eye so when I'm setting any kind of concealer these two are magnificent so I love this it's a really cool packet so it slides in slides out but also this entire palette slides out of this and they pop out for refills for whatever you need which I think is really cool so in these on the back it tells you the colors and everything I'll do a close-up of that and stick it right here so you guys can see but the colors that I have here are, it ranges from fair, which is um, F06, to deep, which is F10. So I'm gonna use that so you guys can see it. And this is the blush palette. Look at that. So it has a variety of colors in it from your deep plums, this is sort of like a, ooh, like a reddish orange. That's more of a coral than your pink. And then that one right there is more of a lavender color. It's beautiful. Names on here, the lavender color here. This one is flirtatious. This one is vivacious. This one is enamored. This one is passionate and soulful is this one here the purple is not to it i am cleansed i am moisturized i am all of that stuff and y'all know that my go-to is city beauty um all of the links for city beauty will be in the description box if you guys are interested in that and i'm gonna start the day with my city lips And what I've been doing here, I've been using my derma roller. Really does um, help for the oil to penetrate into my lips. They feel so much better. That's what I've been doing here lately. Like so, sip of coffee, and um, got my little trusty water over here to the side. One of my boys, Jeremy, he's about to graduate from high school. So we're kind of getting ready for that. And, um, oh yeah, I'm gonna start off with um, Born This Way. This one is in the color Chestnut. 
and I'm going to highlight with um, Born This Way in the Color Latte. But yeah, as I was saying, we're getting ready for graduation. Um, and um, I was getting ready for a show, but things had gotten so crazy over the last, um, you know, this it, May. May was crazy for me. Um, not necessarily like, you know, crazy busy or anything. It was just, you know, um, just having to, to deal with just stuff here. Um, Joshua, I think, was just really kind of frustrated and ready for our school to end. And um, as, <laughs> as was I, I'm just gonna hit all the places where I have some darkness and just blend that out. So I've got my little beauty blender here. So with all of that going on, it was really hard trying to just dig into the prep routine, you know, stay consistent with that, with eating the meals like I'm supposed to, um, you know, staying on track with meals, making sure I get everything in. So it was really becoming more um, troublesome just trying to maintain. And, you know, I, I didn't want, you know, my coach to think that I was lacking or anything like that because, you know, by far not trying to do that. I just wanted to be able to have, you know, the time to really focus on the, you know, on the diet, on the workouts, being able to be a little bit more consistent. And I was finding myself just stressing and the anxiety of it all. I, I just, I had to make a decision as to whether I was going to stay with it and do the August show, or if I was going to, you know, press pause and say, hey, you know, it's okay. Give yourself a break, just get through you know, just get through the school year, just get through the graduation and um, into summer. So um, yeah, summers are always hard, you know, on prep because, you know, you want to do things with family and, you know, and it's, it's warm, it's nice out, it's, you know, a lot of activity. Kids are home all the time. So, you know, there's always that you know, desire to want to do stuff and, you know, and just kind of eat at will, you know, whenever you want to. But um, I would rather at least be into summer and be able to start a routine where I don't have to focus so much on the kids, where I can kind of say, okay, this is what I need to do. Okay, so brows are done and I'm going to go in with a little bit of the latte. Um, just to kind of brighten up under the eye and the dot here, dot here, one out there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my artistry palette and I'm going to use um, the fair. I'm gonna use, no, actually I'm gonna use, I think it's medium, light medium. So I'm gonna use this one here and I'm gonna tap in a little bit of the fair to go under that eye. And to me, that does a really good job of just setting the, you know, your highlight under there, whether you're going light with it or you're going really, you know, Kind of full coverage it does a good job of setting and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of translucent powder and just kind of just a little bit just bake it a little bit Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the darkest color, which is their deep F10. And I'm gonna just give myself just a little bit of an eye, just, you know, to wake the eye up a little bit, give it a little bit of something, you know, 
not a full eyeshadow, but just something to kind of pop in the crease area, kind of wake that up, brush a little underneath the eye. So I'm using F10, that's the deep color. I'm gonna use my Esam V33 brush and I'm just gonna go in and I'm just going right here in the crease area. Just let the, let, let the brush work for you, okay? Just let the brush do what it do. And you know, I'm just gonna be honest with you, I can barely see. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, my eyesight is going crazy these days. They really are. Okay, the next I'm gonna take my refer number two. And since that's a flat, it's a flat brush, if you can kind of tell it's flat, I'm gonna take just the tip of it, dip into F10 again, and just slide that underneath the eye. Just brushing right at the the line of the eye or that bottom lid. Just kind of give it a little smudge look. And then just go around where you applied um, your product and just, you know, just buff that out really good. You know, making sure that each side looks relatively the same. <laughs> but it's so, it's so subtle. It's, you know, it's not like you have a have to be perfect with it because it's just really subtle. It's not like you're doing anything where you want them to match completely. And I'm gonna go back into the Artistry palette and I'm gonna use, I think I'll use medium deep. Let's use medium deep. So I'm gonna take my medium deep, which is, you know, just a little bit, just to kind of clean up under the eye where, you know, I baked a little bit. We still look really subtle, very natural, nothing crazy. <laughs> okay, so trying to decide which one I want to try. Hash it. So let's try passionate. So we're going to try passionate. And for me, I'm not a heavy blush wearer, but I do like to have a kiss of color. So we're going to see how pigmented. She is, so there she is. Woo, yeah, honey. <laughs> she giving it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now for me, I start right about here and I work my way up, okay? So here, all right, so let's go. Okay. And I just tap, 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 tap. I don't, you know. And then I just kind of go up like that in that upward motion. So yeah, she's she's giving some. So just there. There. <laughs> And then I go right across the bridge of the nose, just right there on the top. And yes, that's a lot there, but I'll, I'll brush that away. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna graze the top of my lids. But yeah, I think that's nice. I'm gonna take my little fan brush here, Hakahodo, and I'm just gonna just kind of blend that in. And then I'll take, you know, my other brush, dip back into my um, my passionate or my artistry palette, and kind of get rid of some of that, or blend that color that's on my nose, so it's not so much. Okay, 
put on a little bit of mascara and bring the look together. Okay guys, so these are the brushes that I use to create this look. The first one to your left is an angled Morphe M405 um, blush, which is Morphe M509 flat definer brush, which is Morphe M432. And the last one to the left is a Sigma Tapered Blending E35. Now going to the right, we have a Morphe, which is just a standard set brush. Um, the refer number two, um, the fan brush, which is a Hokohoto 6240, the ESOM V33, and MAC 221S, which is your small tapered blending brush. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a lip on. Next. Okay, so I'm going to line with this uh, NYX lip liner and it is in the color Nutmeg. So just a neutral lip. And I'm gonna use my City Beauty lip gloss. This is in the color San Diego. I think that's right, yeah, that one. San Diego. Let's give us a little spritz. Okay, so here we are to the hair portion. Now, um, I've been wearing my hair in more of a, a straight style, like, you know, top knots. Not like loose or anything, because I, I, I really don't like, I don't have really a, a cut or anything where I would want to wear my hair, you know, out. So it's not in a style that, you know, where you'd be like, oh, I wear this all the time. No. Um, but, you know, I'll wash it and blow it out and then put in a top knot or something like that. Um, just because it works. And then it also gave me a chance to kind of look at it to see you know, how I wanted to kind of get rid of some of those, you know, the bad ends and stuff. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and see if I can pick it up and I'll come back. <laughs> Ta-da! is our makeup and there is our hair and so I'm gonna wrap this up but um, I'll leave all the information in the description box about the products that I used um, you know this was my opportunity to use new Eason palettes they're awesome love them um, so like I said link will be in the description box anything that you guys click on in the description box helps me out and I greatly appreciate all of you guys for your support I really do and um, but yes and here it's the hair so so I'm about to get ready go to church and I don't know what I'm gonna wear anyhow have a good day see you guys later